A very reputable developer by the name of Sim Lian just bought a piece of land that is right opposite to Tembusu Grand at 20% cheaper than what CDL have bought Tembusu Grand for. So we definitely want to be talking about it. We want to be talking about whether or not there should be a cause of concern for people who have already bought Tembusu Grand and for people who are considering the three existing developments in the area right now. So let's get you up to speed. There are currently three brand new developments for to consider if you're looking to buy something brand new in District 15. So we have Grand Dunman, the Continuum and Tembusu Grand. All of them have their own strengths. But in this particular scenario, we're not going to be talking about Grand Dunman and the Continuum because they are different product altogether. For the very simple fact that the Continuum is freehold, and Grand Dunman is very near to the MRT. So the only thing we want to be discussing is Tambusu Grand versus the brand new piece of land that Simlian have bought for 20% cheaper. So with that out of the way, right now we're just going to be talking about some facts. So the first thing is, Simlian buying that piece of land at 20% cheaper doesn't necessarily mean that they will be selling at 20% cheaper as compared to Tambusu Grand. It all depends on the supply and demand situation approximately one year down the road when Simlian is going to be launching their new condo. The next thing you need to know is Simlian is definitely going to be affected by the new harmonizing of the GFA computation method across the four government agencies, which means we will be expecting better layouts and developers will no longer be using void area to increase the GFA that is being sold to you as a consumer. So the size of the property on your property ownership documents might look smaller, but the feel is definitely more efficient. And on to the next point, interest rates. So as we all know, interest rates is kind of all-time high right now. And I'm pretty sure one year down the road, interest rates are going to start going down or stabilize at a level where most people can accept. And from my experience, when interest rates goes down, the demand of people wanting to buy properties would go up. So I don't foresee a need for Simlian to want to sell their property 20% cheaper just because they bought the piece of land cheaper. And of course, as developers, their job is not to sabotage one another because at the end of the day, the developers just want to finish selling all the units that they are going to build. So as a consumer, you just need to know for as long as there is an increase of demand of people wanting to buy properties, developers will not have to result to selling their properties way cheaper just to get market shares. So that's all the thoughts I have for this current situation right now. If you're curious about more real estate trends or updates between the dynamics of these developers and the situation that's happening in District 15 right now, you can drop me a PM or leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be happy to respond to your questions with a video.